Nasty, bro. Two more, two more. Dead. One more, one more. Oh. Pop that flare. Do I just chill in there? Stay, no? Yeah, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Let's go! Let's f go, seal! Jeez! Alright guys, so I know I changed my settings um, many times and it looks like I'm always using different settings. But I want to inform you guys that, or remind you guys, that I know exactly what I'm doing and it's not like I'm confused on what settings to use um, or I don't know what the best settings or anything like that. It's not like I'm confused or I don't know what to do or I'm just throwing random stuff and lying to you guys. The thing is, I'm trying out different settings and trying to learn like exactly the advantages and disadvantages and how some settings can affect other things and maybe, you know, give you more advantages than others or maybe different play styles work with different settings. I don't know. I'm just testing a whole bunch of things out so I can learn more about the game. And one of the things I've learned from switching to 55.9 dynamic versus 2.2 or 3.3 with one ADS linear is the ADS sensitivity is not the same with each of the response curves. I always tell you guys, you should always be playing at one ADS, never change it at all. But I realized that was mainly on linear, whereas dynamic was different. And I'm going to explain why. All right. So for linear, it is a raw input and the response curve is directly correlated to you actually moving and inputting your buttons into the game all right it's directly like that the game is not doing as much of the work for you you're doing all of the work in the game because linear is your direct control and movement so if you have a sensitivity with one ads it is going to be around the same um type of sensitivity as that horizontal and vertical that matches pretty well to the sensitivity um because playing 55.9 ads it's not i guess as organic as playing 55 1.0 that's why it's an ads multiplier one is the base anything below that is lower than what the base is and anything, anything higher than that is higher than what the base is all right and with dynamic you know like i said it's a lot more consistent with linear and you want to play 1.0 on whatever sense you play on with the dynamic it's kind of different um, so with dynamic, you always want to be playing a little bit lower or around one, um, even though I recommend lower because I'm on 55.9. So if I go to 6.6 six or 7.7, seven, I'm most likely not going to raise it at all. Maybe I might lower it a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much because dynamic is a response curve that starts fast and it goes slow and it starts fast and it's inconsistent, but it gives you more aim assist. All right, and with the, let me go to the firing range real quick, right? So, uh, I was loaded into the firing range, guess not. Um, but I'm gonna go to the firing range real quick. Firing range, and uh, yeah, so if I'm moving super fast and then I aim in, my ADS sense is still gonna be super fast because the 5.5 five is super fast to the target and it slows down. So, my aim is gonna be super fast to the target and then it slows down. And when you ADS in, you want it to be a lot slower than what your main uh, hip fire thing is because you want to be able to track your opponent well. Because since dynamic is such a fast response curve where you move left and right super fast, it's going to move from the target left and right super fast, even though you're ADS in. So you do, if you are using dynamic, you do want the aim assist where you, you move left super fast. And when you ADS in, you want it to be slower because being that you're using the dynamic response curve, you're already gonna be at the speed of moving it super fast. So if you lower it, you're not gonna go as fast as the dynamic curve wants you to be, and that's gonna allow you to hit a lot more shots. Now, if I was going on linear, right? So I play 3-3 three, three linear, 1.0 right if i'm on one look, this is me adsing and this is me not adsing it's very similar all right so it's a lot more um accurate to be able to lock onto the target and keep that same muscle memory as if i was out of the hip fire so that i can always have that in my head and be able to track the person um just using my muscle memory and being really good with that
whereas dynamic uh or is it dynamic right here and then you're on five five let's put it at one this is dynamic just moving left and right and this is ads in see how it's still super fast when you're ads in this is not ads this is ads <laughs> see how it's that fast so um when i put it on 0.9 this is me uh left and right this is me left and right a lot slower a lot more manageable and able to give you more aim assist to hit your targets all right so i wanted to explain that in this video because this is something that is very important when you're trying to understand what is the best sensitivity and ADS sensitivity for you to use because i know a lot of you guys who watch my videos still play dynamic or you know you like uh the idea of linear but dynamic is just so much easier for you to get that aim assist and you want to make sure that uh you know the game does a lot of work for you and there's some people who just really like linear but they're always confused like well how come you're playing you're trying dynamic and you're on 0 0.9 ads like did you just switch up on what you said before and the thing is no everything i said in the past still remains the same it's just that there's different rules for different types of settings there's different rules for linear and there's different rules for dynamic and i understood that by switching back and forth and seeing like how these um sensitivities and settings really play out with other settings all right so i wanted to make this video to kind of explain all that help you understand that um and make sure that whatever settings or sensitivity that you're using you're getting like the best advantages possible so that you can still be amazing at this game and have I guess the best advantage to get a lot more kills in warzone all right so i really hope that this helped you guys out and that it helped you learn more about both the linear and dynamic response curve also i do want to say real quick that i haven't made um i didn't really talk about standard in this video i know i recently made a video about the standard response curve and how it actually may be useful in certain situations um but almost nobody plays standard all right, if I had a lot more people playing standard or if it was, you know, just a lot more popular, then I would talk about it and how it compares with the two. But I know that most people, maybe like 90, 95% of people play dynamic and then a few people, a small percentage like me, play linear and almost nobody plays standard. So if you guys did want like, you know, how to get better at standard, I can definitely make videos about that um, and just learn more about that so that that could be another option for you guys to use. Or if you're just like me and you just wanna, you know, learn new things and switch to different responses and sensitivities, you can do that as well. All right, but that's the reason why I didn't really talk about standard in this video. I just wanted to talk about the main two that a lot of people use so that they can, you know, have a lot of knowledge on the two response curves and just know what to do with those sensitivities also i am live every single day on kick this is pretty much where i get my gameplay for my videos so if you want to see me live and just chat with me right there then you can search up five seal on kick.com slash five seal and you can join the community discord uh for any of my coaching services if you guys want to get coached in warzone or if you just want to chat with the community and have any updates that i'm currently doing um as far as when i go live and other things like that uh, so yeah, get connected with the community discord.